ones, my real ones, my real ones. Run it up with my real ones, run it up with my real ones. Coming up with my real ones, coming up with my real ones. I only fuck with the real ones, real ones, my real ones, my real ones. Mean I ain't made no money from working since then. That's crazy. But, you know, they but bitch, you at, you haven't paid. What the fuck? You know, people don't understand how it works. So I, I, so I the reason I say that to you is because people, you know this, you see people in the That's comments. That's really it's ridiculous. Know. That doesn't that doesn't even make sense. Like you see me living life, doing things, having things, and you think I only got fifty. But they don't know how money's made. They don't know, you know what? Yeah. So I mean, I, bro, talk, I, man. I still work. I perform. I work my ass off. So. Yeah, I got money. <laughs> right. And this, but, and the dispute is mostly about recorded material and that sort of thing. It's not about. Yeah, I mean, so uh, obviously, it's, at least yeah. I still can't, you know, really right. talk about it. Shut but, the fuck uh, up, my, bitch. My issue is not with money. I just want, you know, it's fair. You know? The proper agreement. Yeah, I want uh, the proper agreement, yes. I just want my, I don't want to be treated like an object. I don't want to be treated like a slave. I, I want to be treated as a human being and was, was okay 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 so what is this caution I repeat caution for the next 10 minutes you will be taken inside the mind of today's rappers this is the stupid rapper show Hosted by Ayo Conseco. She ain't made it sentimental. Yeah. Everything I do is sentimental. It's sentimental. It's sentimental. You value on it's sentimental. It's sentimental. When you're legendary, they be fussed from them. Fussed from them. Everything I do is sentimental. It's sentimental. Make my first 10,000, that was sentimental. It's sentimental. Make this first 10,000, that was I remember. Bitch, I remember. My first 3,000, yeah, bitch, I remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Hey, all this shit, man, it's sentimental. <laughs> Welcome back to the Stupid Rapper Show. I am Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men Too Movement. And this is the Stupid Rapper Show. Um, if you've not seen the first edition of this show on this channel, but on the Rap Trap set, um, go right here. I'll put a suggested card right here. It probably won't be here right now, but it will be up here momentarily. Whenever you see a card pop up right here, it's me speaking to you. It's important for you to go watch whatever video, whatever's up here, go to it. No matter where it is in the show, just look for it. That's me speaking to you. Um, but on the um, on that version, I wasn't able. We was having an issue with Mediacom. There's the only five optics, and once again, it's midnight again, and we shooting. Um, get out of there. Meg Thee Stallion is going on a promo run right now, a, a radio run. And she's um, doing what she did on that first video. Uh, she's pleading for uh, help. She then went to the goddamn courthouse, just like nothing ass bitches do. Uh, whenever they dealing with a, a black man, uh, uh, um, a successful black man, they take their ass right down to the courthouse because they know that's what the the uh, government wants to do anyway. They know the government already want to fuck a nigga over, so that's just that's that's always the ace in a hole. You got to keep that in your mind. When you dealing with a motherfucker. Um, so much I want to say. She did this on Angie Martinez. But I wanted to watch this one. Because I wanted to see what Ebro was going to do. In this situation it seems like it's uh, some feminism going on. So I want to see if Ebro did what he was supposed to do. And asked a real question and spoke when he was supposed to speak. Let's see what happened. Uh, with the controversy around mm -hmm. Megan Thee Stallion and... Hashtag free the stallion. Right. <laughs> um, everybody anticipated no music from you because the label was telling you right. you can't put it out. So how did things change? Um, the judge said I could drop the music, so that's what happened. Just like that. Yeah. They they just you know they ruled in my favor. So. Okay. Um, are you? On, is there any piece of you that um, just is like, damn man, why did this have to go this left? Yeah, because if you know me, you know I don't like 
going back and forth. You know, I don't like. Here she go with this shit. Before we even go into it, here she go with this shit. Now, I, I'm assuming she going to do the whole, I'm nice, I'm a family person. Bitch, we ain't talking about no emotion right now. We're not talking about no emotion right now. We talking about business. There was a contract signed. I put up $2 million. I gave you 50000 which I predicted in the first video. Before all the information came out, I said in the first video, $50,000. Nigga gonna start li listening after a minute, uh, after a while, but we're not talking about no emotions. We're talking about money. We're talking about business. Two plus two is four. No matter if this two is sad and this two is fucking uh, 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 bi-curious. You put a two with a two and it's gonna equal four. All this, ah, 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 ah. No. I put in this much, I was supposed to get this type of return. I gave you this much of your masters. This is a record deal. This is your first deal. And this is the shit I be talking about, dog. Like, this is why I'm on the promotion end of this the music shit. I, I'm not doing the, oh, uh, yeah, man, we gonna, I'm a manager artist and we're going we gonna to work from the bottom and, you know, it's a family, man. And, and, and it's not hard to feel like it's a family type of situation because... Who else would you put money into like this? On the front end, with no guarantee for a return. Who else would you do that for? So it would feel like family. It would feel like we're bonding and shit like that. But then we find out, as soon as, a, 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 as, soon as it's time for me to pay you back, we find out what's really going on. So this whole family shit, that, she's, that I'm nice, hold on, if you were nice, then you would pay me back what the fuck you owe. If you were nice, you would uphold your side of the agreement the way I uphold if I upheld my end of the bargain. I didn't want to put that out there first. A lot of confrontation. I'm I'm a real chill person. You really gotta push me to upset me or for me to even address something. So I feel like, you know, it was just time to say something. Um Come on, the, uh, the album that we're getting. What what is it? Where's where's this? Is this music you've been had? Is it was it supposed to be an album? What what? So this I'm not even gonna call it an album because I'm still in the middle of making my album. So when you know the situation came up, I'm like, oh my god, I gotta I gotta put out this music. Uh, I don't want to just leave my fans with nothing because I don't know what's gonna happen. You know so. The music that I had made and the songs that I really, really like so far, I was like, let's just drop this shit on the EP. So that's that's what it is. Okay, so we have on the album I saw Gunna mm -hmm. and Kaylani. What the fuck? Yeah, those are your what, only two what, features. What, yeah. What, what are we How doing? was working with Kaylani? Uh, Kaylani is actually one of my close, close friends. Uh, like as soon as I met her, we really vibed. Kaylani, better watch out. You see how she do more for that gave her money. Watch out, Kaylani. You see how she do more for that goddamn give her song? Uh, we Real actually idea. had another song. Uh, it was I don't even want to say what it's called because it might still come out on my album. But uh, we had another song, and ever since that day, we would just FaceTime all the time. We would hang out, and then she had hit my phone, and she was like, "I, I love the song so much. I would talk to her about it all the time because I really wanted it." <laughs> but it was for her album. Okay. So she was like, "Well, Meg." This song actually doesn't fit on my album, so if you really want it, you can have it. And I was like, oh my god, thank you. <laughs> so, I wound up having the song, and I laid my verses down on it, and, you know, that's how I have it. Um, for, for everybody out there that is saying on social media, Megan Thee Stallion's broke, she ain't got no money. She that's got what they saying? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> um, how, because people don't know, they hear you not getting paid, you can't put out music. That just doesn't make any sense like how can you think i'm wrong you see me working every day like i said that i only had got it now she about to say some important i'm guessing but what are you talking about you stupid bitch you see i'm working every day like this is what i'm saying dog what so because you're working every day that means that you have money so there wasn't a Tupac, there wasn't a TLC, there wasn't all the multiple other artists who died fucking broke. $15,000 at that time. That don't mean I ain't made no money from working since then. 
It's but, you know, they but bitch, you, have, you haven't paid. What the fuck? You know, people don't understand how it works. So, I, I, so the reason I say that to you is because people, you know this, you see people in the That's comments. That's really, it's know. ridiculous. That doesn't, that doesn't even make sense. Like, you see me living life, doing things, having things, and you think I only got me. But they don't know how money's made. They don't know, you know, what. Well, yeah, so, I mean, you know, I, bro, I, talk, I, I still work. I perform. I work my ass off, so. Hell yeah. I got, I got money. <laughs> right. And this, but, and the dispute is mostly about recorded material and that sort of thing. It's not about. Yeah, I mean, so uh, obviously, it's, at least yeah. I still can't, you know, really right. talk about it. Shut but the fuck up, my, bitch. My issue is not with money. I just want, you know, it's fair. You know? The proper agreement. Yeah, I want the, the proper agreement, yes. I just want my, I don't want to be treated like an object. I don't want to be treated like a slave. I, I want to be treated as a human being and what's, what's. Okay, okay, okay. So, what is this? If that's, see, this, this this is my only issue, dog. This is my only issue with anybody. My only issue with anybody is, listen, you nothing ass bitch. If you don't want a nigga to do whatever, then don't accept it. But don't accept it for this long and then you get pregnant and now it's got, I want to be treated. Like, hold on, bitch, that ain't never been your M.O. Your M.O. has always been laid down. But see, th these is one of the worst ones, though. I'm going to lay down and I'll even sign some shit. Just get me where I'm going and I know what to do once I get there. Dog, we have to understand that at this point in the game, if you can sign a contract and not honor the motherfucker, what, what's, what's, what's business? What is business? If I can sign a contract but don't have to honor it because I feel it's unfair. It wasn't unfair for a nigga to put $2 million into my career. It's not unfair to, for me to run to uh, Rock Nation after calling them, get me where I need to. Rock Nation wasn't there before the nigga put the $2 million in there. You didn't have no issue with this fucking contract. With the stipulations in the contract. And then you lied, bitch. You was 23 years old when you signed a fucking contract. Not 20 years old. See, I just can't stand a lying bitch. I can't stop. I, I just, you know, a lying nigga is one thing, but a lying bitch is, is different because with a man, you know, you ex they, they would treat him totally different. Hey, man, you signed a contract. What, what's going on? What kind of shady shit you got going on? But for a female, ah, uh, ah, uh, and I don't like that. So now moving forward, how is a independent label or a label in general, how are they supposed to deal with female artists or artists in general? Your first deal is supposed to be what now? And this isn't setting a new precedent. Well, shit, every artist who goddamn didn't like their first deal, they can just go. And even to the fact where the, the court granted her the permission to go against the contract is is like what how the fuck does that work she signed a contract i'm owed this money i haven't been paid since august she's done 15 shows since then and it's a hundred thousand dollars a show i haven't been paid anything you're gonna grant her the right to do what she want to do but not Force her to pay me? And you want me to sit here and, and act like, oh, and she, you know, it ain't got shit to do with a nigga being black or, or it being a man. It, it, it's just... You telling me that an artist having an issue with Atlantic, with Def Jam, Universal, Arista, they still around, Priority... Sony, you saying when they got an issue with them, they can do the same shit? You telling me that they don't sign fucking slave deals? Who made the 360? It wasn't Carl, it wasn't Jay Prince. It was the motherfucker that's running YouTube now. Lear Cohen. Made the 360, made the slave deal, quote unquote. 
Because like I said, 360 is good for some people because you get the promotion. You're not getting no money out your first deal. You ain't nobody. We had to put up all the fucking capital to get you off the ground. How in the fuck can you get money off your first deal? Ryan's ride was fair, fair. Um, this is also, we were talking about it earlier this morning. This is music in I gotta talk about this, Ebro. You ain't said nothing yet. You ain't said nothing about nothing yet, about business or nothing. Man, I hope this ain't the whole interview, my nigga, because you ain't said nothing. She just said, right, it's right, fair, it's fair. You ain't gonna say nothing about what you did sign a contract. You can't even say that. You can't even say, well, you did kind of sign a contract, so, you know, that's kind of, you know, that's legally binding, so I mean, that's kind of fair. Yeah. Street 101. I'm saying. Right? A lot of your fans, you know, somebody like myself, I've seen how many different artists go through the same mm -hmm. process and not have the power that you have, right? Because prior to social media, getting an, having an artist finding their voice and being able to tell their audience, yo, I'm in their prime, mm -hmm. right? Being able to tell their audience they're being fucked over. Or the agreement is bad or in your case where it's like we had an agreement i want to renegotiate the agreement and get these terms uh better and more fair right. and you see now this is why people come places like this this is why people come around this type of shit because when you go to the big places and they play these fucking games like this. Ebro, the way you did Kodak Black, my nigga, you were ruthless. You were, I, this is why I didn't go to Andrew Martinez, because I knew she was going to play with fucking kitty gloves. But Ebro, you get an argument, like you old man Ebro. Arguments. You bring up shit motherfucker don't want to talk about, legal shit, sexual shit. But you but you instead of playing around the all you want to do is renegotiate some shit. You know, just cause you know, if you get a bank loan, you know, after you fuck the money up, you should be able to renegotiate. You know, what's wrong with that? Like you know, it's time for us as you know the, the little guy to be able to no. You don't sign. They had no power. Artists didn't have this kind of power. And I don't think that the music industry likes it because it takes the power away from them in some regard. Yeah. Um, I just think that you have to treat people like human beings. You can't you can't handle artists like they're not humans at the end of the day. So so why so so why now? You didn't have no issue when you was making a thousand dollars a show. You didn't have no issue when it was five racks a show. Now it's a hundred thousand. Now it's treat motherfucker like, and this is no, this is exactly like a this is textbook nothing ass bitch. As soon as she gets anything, and usually it's a child. It's usually you get her pregnant. Now she's gonna come to the table and renegotiate the fucking relationship. You're gonna take me on cruises to the movies. You're not gonna cheat. I'm gonna check your phone. You're gonna be in the house at a certain time. You're not gonna hang with your friends. Um, and that's how it's gonna be. Um, or well, I'm putting you on child support. We good? Good. And, and 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 for you know for all my my real black women this is why it's so important that you make it known you make it known that you understand that there is a element out there called a nothing ass bitch um acting as if you just don't see that type of girl out there makes it Makes a motherfucker real suspicious to you being that motherfucker. Like you need to let me know that you know it's it's definitely some nothing ass motherfuckers. This is what they do. And this is why I gave y'all go to the Patreon. You have to see the how to identify nothing ass bitch series. You don't want to end up like Carl, you don't want to end up like the multiple niggas who said, you know what? 
to good girl right here, man. I'm gonna ignore the signs, you know, the the bitch don't mind looking like a prostitute. You know, all this, you know, she don't mind doing the shit that nothing ass bitches do. Cause I know what I know in real life. But in reality, the bitch showed you. I don't I don't care about myself. I don't care about myself. I'm did you hear what the bitch just said? I don't want to be treated like an object. Bitch. You pretty much make porn. You wear clothes that prostitutes wear. You're in, you're a sex object. Nigga don't want to fucking date a bitch who walk around like Meg the Stallion. Nigga want to fuck her. It's a sex object. Do you see the hypocrisy in their own words? I don't want to be treated like an object, but I'll wear shit that make a nigga damn near masturbate in front of me, and I'll talk to a nigga. Are you serious, bitch? Like you will respect the bitch who I know what I'm doing. Shit, I know what this is. I know exactly what this is. I know shit. It is what it is. I'm aware, and you know what makes me fucked up about this shit is she's aware. Of this situation, but she's seeing that I have the momentum. She saw she had the momentum on social media, and she took it. She took it to the legal branch, the judicial branch, and saw I got fucking momentum over here too. So she just riding it out. She know what the fuck she doing is wrong. She know what the fuck she did to them people was wrong. But this just goes to show you. And like I said, all my good black women, you really can't blame a nigga for trying to make sure, just like a nigga can't blame you for not wanting to date a nigga that sag his pants. You've seen so many situations where this didn't go well to where it's like, no, nah, I'm good on it. You have to grant a nigga the same fucking, I don't want to date no bitch that don't mind looking like a prostitute or looking like a sex object. I don't want to date a bitch that wear makeup and weave. I've seen where that goes. I just, I feel like a bitch that wears her natural hair is just more on my level. Not to say that a bitch that has natural hair can't be a nothing ass bitch, but it's just, I'm just not to say a nigga that saying his fans can't be, you know what I mean? But this is what we dealing with, man. We dealing with millions of dollars. Like niggas have been killed for 20 sheets in the street. Bitch, you just hit me for millions. People die over this shit, man. Okay. So I just feel like it's a situation where I don't want to be good. <laughs> I'm not going to be good. So. Um, I don't know if y'all I don't know if y'all heard that. Uh, I'm not gonna be bullied. I don't want to be bullied. And it, that's all I'm saying, dog. Is you like you sign a contract? The like all this shit you saying is good as fuck. But you said before you sign the contract, I'm not gonna be bullied. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let nobody. You don't sign the contract. Get what the motherfucker got to offer. Then say I'm not gonna pay you back because I'm not gonna be bullied. Are you serious? If you don't see black man, if you don't see there's a conspiracy to destroy you, I don't know what to tell you. There is nowhere in America you can sign a contract, get the benefits from whatever the fuck company you decide for, and when it's time for you to pay back their money with interest, you can say, I'm not going to be bullied. And you go to the goddamn courthouse and they say, you know what, you're right, that's bullying there are millions of people, Americans, that have student loans up the ass. They can't even get fucking uh, uh, tax returns no more. But when it comes down to destroying a black man or the, the idea of destroying a black man, they will bend the rules, break the rules, fuck the rules. This is what we need to look at. And Ebro, you a bitch ass nigga, my nigga. <laughs> Why y'all trolled us like that? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so y'all really in a relationship? No. 
No, I'm not gonna listen. I, I, I'm not gonna listen to that, my nigga. I, I, no, we turned up in the moment. But you knew people would get out go. So man, I'm not. No, if that if that's how we doing, we finna end this shit. So G Easy is. We still talking about G Easy, okay? Uh, <laughs> um, how did your, can you just tell us how the Nicki Minaj um, stuff? So obviously, she told them what what that night sent it back, and, it was really and that was the one we got the hot girl. The hot Hold on, dog. I know, Ebro, I know, I, you ain't go out like that, my nigga. I know you ain't do that. Right. 20, and yeah. I kind of just, like, reset oh, everything. Okay. You cleaned the stables. I had just cleaned the stables out. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, we just open to new, you know, new experiences and new people coming into life right now. So, um, but you're not looking. No, no. I mean, I guess that what it is, dog. When it, dog, and you know, like, it was chemistry, so it wasn't hard to shoot. Uh, no, I'm really blown. So you really just didn't. Don't be mad. All she went off, like it was, it was all terrible. It was all bad. But I never thought I was oh gonna my see my mug shot. And I never thought I was gonna have to explain it, but. No, it's the industry. They go yeah. and, and by the way, I'm like, damn, who done got up? Don't think anything. Somebody else. might have sold it. Probably, I don't know. Somebody, I think they only give checks out for those little yes, clicks. Yes, yes, That's yes, weird. yes. But I mean, it happened. It was an experience of my life, so. So, I don't, I don't even know, I don't know if that fueled us even more, like, to, to go in the hallway of the dorms and, like, make a twerk video. This time, I mean, it's, it's, it's what flex. you want to do. I'm here, I'm like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. It's okay. your body. You should be able to do what you right, want to do. Right, 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 right. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Now, let's, let's go ahead and get into the nothing-ass bitch shit. Since Ebro going to be a hoe or protects alliance with Jay-Z. The skinny girls. Right. It's more of a spectacle. I think when your body is a certain type of way, uh, I guess it comes off as offensive to something. Like, right. If I don't have no booty... Nobody would care about me twerking. Like, or, I'm heavy up top, and I feel like I just can't wear, like, a regular tank top because it yeah. would just be a thing. Oh, it's a schmoothie. Yeah. It's a thing, <laughs> and it's like, you know what I mean? But yeah. it's like, I see other girls wearing it. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that too, you know? But well, I, I can if I really want to, but I just know I it's also going to bring a certain type of attention. So I'll do it when the time is right. Don't let her fool you. She up here. Yeah, I do it when I, you know, bro. when it's my when time. It's time. I mean, when it's, it's, it's what flex. you want to do. I'm here, I'm like, oh, I'm good, I'm good. It's your body. You should be able to do what you want to do. Right, 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 right. Like, I'll be hearing people say, oh, she ain't never got no clothes on. And I'm like, dang, like, put the same outfit on somebody that's a little skinny as It was never the same. Right. But, I mean, I really don't care. It's my body. I do what I want to do with my body. It is the, the um, like, you know, in, in many different ways and forms, people have to deal with social judgment, right? Mm-hmm. But women obviously deal with it tenfold. Mm-hmm. And women who have, you know, uh, how do I say? This nigga a bitch. Well, this nigga a hoe, boy. God damn, boy, you a hoe. Damn. Dog, I'm really, I'm watching this shit, and I'm really starting to realize why motherfuckers come here. Like, damn. You not going to call her a nothing-ass bitch for us. They have a, what do you call it? Um, uh, They, you know, they like to show a little skin. No big deal. I would, I would like my daughter to be a, a, a slut. You know, I would, love, I would love for my daughter to, Wear exactly what you wear, you know. I I want my wife to go online and you know dance the way you dance, and and you know just you know just just pop the pussy and let everyone see it. I think we should all just have sex in, in a big orgy. You know? That's how I feel, you know. I, I, but I guess that's that's what you got to do to keep these jobs and shit. That's what you got to do to stay in these buildings. You have to be flexible both ways you can't have a real opinion it's safe to do that's insane though my nigga the question right fast would you want your daughter to act like me to stay on instagram not about i couldn't stop her you know if she wanted to would you want her to well, you know, it's kind of, see, I, so you don't want to answer the question. Because Meg the Stallion here. Whew. K. 
captivating bodies, <laughs> right? Um, even it's even more like so. You know what I mean? So um, now I, I, I salute that. You know, for the for the uh, for the shapely women, you definitely represent for them. You know, and it's the not something you should too. be embarrassed about. Like mm-hmm. it's not something to be ashamed of. It's not. Oh, I, I have to put on this shirt so anybody so other people won't get offended. Like, girl, if your titties big, your titties are big. You cannot help that. What you gonna do? Cut them off? Like, <laughs> damn, you was born with that. Now, but how, for, and throughout your life, right? With that same attitude, though, how often it does a man now? Or even a woman who's interested in you think that that's a green light, and you are interested in being talked to, or approached, or interested in something else. Um, you know what's going on in the head of these other people don't really you know, concern me. I really don't care. Stupid bitch! The nigga asked you how did it happen? When how did people react to it? Bitch, have you been raped before? Bitch. Has a nigga ran down on you and, and said, goddamn, oh, she ain't got nothing but goddamn, you got a chain for a goddamn, you got a chain for a 20? I'm just trying to get some head right fair. Yeah, let me goddamn, you got a chain? I know you ain't charged nothing, goddamn. Here, go take the whole 20, you're gonna hit Ben that motherfucker over. Has a nigga came and smacked you on the ass, just, just thought that you liked this shit. Because you dress like a stripper, and this is what we do to strippers. Bitch, has a nigga looked at you and you felt uncomfortable? This is the fucking shit I'm talking about. You make this shit seem like there's no fucking uh, uh, consequences for what you do. So when my child, my daughter, looks at this shit, she, oh, well, shit, oh, nothing. Tell the motherfucker. Well, there was an incident when I was in, a man actually you know, thought I was somebody else and actually tried to rape me. You know, I was in a Walmart, you know, just wearing my shit. I didn't think it was a problem, but a guy just kept following me around the store. I actually had to call the police. It was the scariest day of my life. But no, no, you don't speak on that. Come on. This is why I hate these bitches. Bitches like this, who will tell my children, my loved ones, that are coming up and so impressionable, no, come on over here. Come to the dark side. It's cool over here. Just like the nothing ass bitches who have children early and make it seem like, you know, take all the pictures on Instagram and just, it's like, it's, it's loved over here. What's the hardest part about your life? I just, you know, just loving my children, just, it ain't no hard part. You know, it's just, it's really easy. You know, anybody can do this. It's, it's just, I just feel so loved by all my children. You ain't gonna tell motherfucker how you gotta lock yourself in a room and cry. Because you never get a fucking break. How you, how you, you know, you've contemplated suicide because you feel like your life never will amount to anything because you're never going to have enough time to do shit. That's all I ask. All I'm asking for any of y'all to do is just speak the truth. The truth. You know that this has happened to you. You you know anybody with children knows how it stifles their forward progress. So now you got bitches with multiple children but still can hide the fact that their fucking body is just to shit. You know, you see some of these bitches with that belly and it just, and it just look disgusting. Like, the, you know, the, the belly in the front high stretch and shit like that. What happens to the titties? The postpartum depression. You never thought about suicide until, you know, after the second pregnancy, that there was... You can't get wet no more. This is why these bitches so good at giving head. Like, the bitch couldn't even get wet no more after the second child. Instead of you trying to help the next generation so that they can be better, you will put that in secrecy. But, but you just steady putting sexual poses. These niggas stay in my imp- You know, just making it seem like you just the hottest thing on earth. 
trying to make motherfuckers think that it's anything but what it is. And that's what I'm talking about. At this point in time, with us being in our 30s and up, shouldn't our main focus be our children? But not just your child. My child, too. Not just your niece. My niece, too. What you're doing is dangerous to my loved one. I want the attention she got, but don't know what that attention come with. They're only children. And you nothing ass bitches who are taking these children around in tights. These children ain't number four, five years old, and you think it's fucking cute. I'm a demo. I'm gonna have these whole hating. They finna see my baby shape because you bad built in a motherfucker. Because you built like a sack of oranges or onions. Let me stop. Let me stop because I. Uh, if you think my cleavage or the, the length of my shorts equal, come have sex with me. That's a little weird. Uh, You horse mouth bitch. So there are no consequences to what you do because you're a female. That's the message that you're giving off. What you wear has nothing to do. I, I, I want to tell y'all a story about um, right before my um, revelation, right before I came out the street. I, I, I did a little, I did, I wore something. I, I had something on and um, I walked into a gas station and it was, um, they weren't undercover. They had a, you know, they just plain clothes, vests and shit. They were in the gas station. And um, remind me to tell y'all that story on Patreon. What you wear has everything to do with how people are going to treat you and respect or disrespect you it has everything to do with that and you know you know that because you know what to wear to church you know what to wear to your court date you know what to wear when you go up there um with lisa bloom black china when you want to act like uh he put out my sex tape and it just uh just defiled me to shit the bitch went up that bitch with a whole turtleneck and like, so you know what you're doing. You're trying to entice niggas. The whole point is for niggas to feel how sexy you are. You saying that a nigga ain't gonna get no, I wanna fuck that bitch because that guy, damn that hoe, whoo. And you saying that's not the whole point of you wearing the shit? And then, that's weird. Only prostitutes and nothing ass bitches wear what you wear. Period. Period. There are no, there is no married, there is no um, high class women who wear what you wear. High class women feel like what they have, the cleavage and, and the short shorts, that's only for the man that they love. And you are part of the agenda to destroy that. You are part of an agenda to destroy my child, my daughter. And I'm forgetting the word again. Y'all gonna have to have with this word. And ultimately, my son. A lot of people, you know, we got debates on who does who does civilization start off of, but you can tell about a race by their women. And Ebro, you sit here and you let this bitch say this, and, and, and it's just it's just a a gauge of where we're at in society at this point in in, in our race in the black race. If you have the money, we'll let you say this. 
But you bring a prostitute, a broke, destitute prostitute off the street and let her say the same thing and watch how much Ebro corrects her. Like, hold on. You got to dress to impress. Like, what you wear is a, a it, it, it tells everything about who you are. If you dress like a police officer, you're going to get treated like a police officer. If you dress like a bank robber, you're going to get treated like a bank robber. Dress like a thug, you get treated like a thug. But if you dress like a prostitute, I need to respect you. I don't believe in that. And if, and if because I don't believe in that, ah, oh, he, he don't do shit with talk about women. He don't do shit with, ah, oh, that's all. Then that's what that is. But what she just said was bullshit. This whole situation is bullshit. And it's based off destroying the black man. And I'm saying that because I haven't seen this ever happen with any white owned label. Uh, that just shows where your mind at. <laughs> but I that just shows and Ebro laughs. Let's let's listen to let's listen to it in full. Hold on. Let's listen to it in full. Listen to this. Mm -hmm. You know what's going on in the head of the... Let, let's watch the question. Let's watch the question. About your life, right? With that same attitude, though, how often it does a man now, or even a woman who's interested in you... You're a bitch, that That's a green light. You're a bitch. And you are interested in being talked to or approached or interested in something else. Um, you know what's going on in the head of these other people? They don't really... Concern me, I really don't care. Uh, if somebody, you know, if a man, want, I'm, not, I'm not trying to stop it, but if a man want to rape me, if, if what I wear makes a man want to rape me, you know, I, I just can't, you know, what can I do about it? You know, I gotta wear this shit because, you know, this, this is what the label told me to wear. You know, if I don't wear this shit, then I don't get no money. So I'm just like a stripper or a prostitute. You ain't never seen a stripper or a prostitute wearing a whole bunch of clothes unless they were headed to the room. So, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. Is that what she would tell her little niece? She had a daughter, is that what she would tell her? You can't help with going to the other boat, right? You know, wear what you want to wear. And you know what? That is the same, that's what I'm telling you, this comes from the Caucasus Mountains. This mindset comes from Europe. A boy can wear a mermaid outfit at 10 years old. I put this on my Instagram. The white lady letting this little boy wear a little girl bathing suit in public, barefoot, walking into Walmart. No one should, no one should do it. You know where this mindset comes from? This mindset is taught. Believe that. It's taught. It's a mindset of no accountability. No matter what you do, you're not accountable. It's not your fault. It's shit. Yeah. You ain't accountable. You, you signed a contract, but you ain't accountable. That shit, you good. Motherfucker ain't both. It only works with them. This is why we have so many young black boys getting murdered. Because they think, she and mama got, you keep seeing it and it's, and it's in your psyche. So you think you can just keep talking and shit too. Nigga put a bullet in your fucking face. Whether it be a nigga or a police officer. Because you buck into the ceiling and ain't got no motherfucking, you ain't got no pistol, you ain't got no knife, you ain't got no way to defend yourself, but you did whooping. They don't want to do that. And go home alive. Let me stop. Let me stop, dog. Um, if you think my cleavage or the the length of my shorts equal, come have sex with me. That's a little weird. Um, I hate that. That shit just shows so where your mind at. <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought this shit was cute, so I put it on. It make me feel good. I think my body look good, so this is what I wanted to put on today. That does not mean come be creepy on me. Right. Right. Megan the Stallion. The nigga said facts. Boy, you a faggot, boy. 
You a bitch! Facts. Facts. You know, he, bro, you been here long. I know you probably don't get no pussy, no hole, probably never even holler at you or nothing. But you know, if she came out the house wearing that, she knew that niggas was going to be looking. She knew that. It wasn't about being cute. It was about having niggas drooling. I can have your baby daddy. It was all about the niggas. Facts, facts. This is where we at. Because, so it make you, it really make you want to dive in this shit and look like, so where is Jay-Z and Ebro or Hot 97 connected, which obviously they have to be. I can't believe this, dog. You just ran through this whole interview and let her just, I'm talking about just defecate on this show, just diarrhea of the mouth, and you didn't do nothing but co-sign it? Like I said, dog, I, I'm, I'm really starting to see why people fuck with this shit so much now. Anywhere else you go, these motherfuckers is on this type of shit. I just I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna agree with them, and I'm just happy to be here. That's why I promise y'all, man. I promise y'all, no matter how you know far we go with this shit, if I get, I'm trying. When a rapper come around, I'm not taking it soft on him. Pause. I'm, I'm telling you, it's, it's gonna be that. Somebody set me up a goddamn interview up with somebody from Mary the Stallion team and see how the fuck I talk. There ain't gonna be no starstruck shit, my nigga. And Ebro, you a bitch and you a part of the motherfucking problem when the fuck you'll talk to Kodak Black and every black man that come through that bitch, you'll just give them the, the ninth degree, the third degree. But make the stallion come in and just shit all over everything that you should stand for as a black man. We come from building our own businesses up. This ain't how business work. And then she speak about your daughter, your young female loved ones and it facts facts yeah yeah that's right yeah respect the lady no matter what no respect for no nothing ass bitch rich or poor suck dick fuck get the fuck from around I'll call you when I want to bust another one you ain't got no respect for yourself why the fuck I'm respect you but you get motherfuckers like I ain't gonna say no name but you get a real woman and they gonna demand that respect because they don't do nothing to disrespect themselves. Come on, my nigga. We ain't talking about a bitch coming outside, you know, at the beach with a bathing suit. Or no, but even with that, though, you can be I, uh, a California girl going to the beach. You still have to be aware that there are people out here that are only on. There are men out here that don't do shit but rape women. Ted Bundy existed. All the other uh, serial killers that only killed women, they existed. It wasn't a fucking dream. We don't live in a fucking play-play world. It's a real fucking world. You get one life. They're abducting little girls by the day. And this is how we fucking talk to our black women when they fucking spew this death propaganda? A nigga couldn't come up that bitch to my trapping. Nigga couldn't call this bitch to my pimping. A bitch who wanted to be pimped. A nympho. Nigga, ain't nothing. She the storm, just the manager. Bitch couldn't count, so I started, you know, I just made the money. Managed the money for her. But I'm a fuck. But this bitch, man, nigga, get the fuck out my goddamn face. You a bitch, man. And I want to speak on Jay-Z, too. Go, go to the rap. We're going to speak by Jay-Z in this shit, too, my nigga. Hey, man, it's crazy, um, nigga. The first single was... When we heard I that? don't give a fuck about that shit, man. Get this bullshit my damn... Well, hey, man. The album's uh, out. Stupid bro. rapper show, oh, man. Ayo hey, Canseco. Make sure you go to the PayPal. Make sure you go to the Patreon. I'm probably going to go crazy around that motherfucker. Go to the Cash App. Show love. We pushing this shit forward. I'll see y'all in a minute, dog. Run through um, Ooh, a couple of your hits too, Hot Girl Summer. Let's get that on. But what should we play off this new album? 
none of that I shit. I think we should play 